What is up, beautiful people? I am Leilani of Let Lay Be Lay, a lifestyle brand that positively shifts the mindsets of millennials through adventure, dining, and fashion. And I am back with another video. And today, I want to just share with you a little bit about me, Lay, the Lay of Let Lay Be Lay. So the quick and the basic, my name is Leilani Nicole. Uh, I was born and raised in Chicago, Illinois, South Side to be exact. Um, I went to a performing arts high school and majored in dance uh, and when I graduated I went to Western Illinois University my major was fashion merchandising and um, I was a part of a lot of like fashion related organizations I was a part, part of the visual uh, apparel merchandising organization on campus I was a part of well not just a part I was a, an executive board member of um, a modeling troupe which our 10 year anniversary is coming up, which is freaking crazy because I was one of the charter members uh, that was there when the group first started. So it's kind of cool to like see that it's been 10 years. Um, I am my mother's only child and my dad's baby. So I, I get the love from both sides. On my mom's side, I was the only grandchild. And um, on my dad's side, I was the, ba I'm the baby. So. so I was, I had like a dual, upbringing so I had times where I felt completely like an only child always by myself used my imagination like made up all kinds of crazy scenarios to play by myself but I always was um, either around cousins my nieces and nephews we were all pretty much around the same age range um, which is not really like the norm I guess um, and then I had like friends so we were always like um, I, my house was the house where everybody came we would make videos in the basement we would like do skits we would make up dances make music videos we had a singing group like it was like my childhood was pretty lit um and speaking of childhood i'm still best friends with my um friends from my childhood my best friend jordan uh we were friends since kindergarten we've been friends since kindergarten and my best friend Jennifer we've been friends since the third grade and they both live here in Houston so it's just like amazing but yeah oh another crazy another unique thing I'm a lady junior that's what people say um I'm named after my mom my mom's name is Leilani as well and she was named after um well, she got her name because my grandfather was in the military. He was stationed in Hawaii, and he fell in love with the name Leilani. His name was Lonnie, so it was kind of like a combination of, like, his name and, like, the name that he saw when he went, when he was in the service. He named my mom Leilani, and my mom named me Leilani. So, I don't know if I'll be continuing the Leilani train, but I really like the name. It was super, super unique when she was named Leilani. Like, nobody else was named Leilani. And then when I was named Leilani, it still was kind of unique, but it was like coming around. But now I feel like the name is like everywhere. Um, but I still like that I have like some kind of like connection with like the Hawaiian origin of the name. No, I'm not Hawaiian, but that's like the story. So as far as like jobs and careers, your girl has been working since it was possible for me to work. Like <laughs> I come from a family of like hustlers and entrepreneurs and volunteers and like I don't know what that was oh lint lint for my <laughs> for my sweater but I come from a family of hustlers entrepreneurs volunteers um my mom pretty much my mom everybody on my mom's side my mom my uncle and my grandmother on my mom's side all were all educators um uh, my mom, she wanted to be a, a singer and an actress. She wanted to be a movie star. And she didn't do that. She ended up being a uh, educator. And from, from just that, like that was not the only thing she did. Like when I was young, my mom was getting her master's degree. She's a new mom. She was getting her master's degree. She was newly married. And she was working full time. So I always saw like working, working, working. My dad, he was an addiction therapist. Um, he also did like um, 
furniture revamping and like like he would take like a chair like this de disassemble it paint it re um reupholster it and sell it like that was before like ebay and like up up what is it called out now like upcycling like that was before all of that was like popular he would do that he would paint houses um pretty much anything like my dad has done every like I, I want my dad to come on my channel so bad and like talk about his life because he's like super cool and like the best storyteller ever but I've always basically the point of me saying that is I've always seen my parents working and they weren't it was never just on one thing they did they exercised multiple avenues and they were always doing a lot of different things um, as far as like work and passion and both of them work in the church as well serve in the church as well um, They're both retired, but for my people who know my parents Never are ever 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 in the house. They're always on either a vacation or um, Teaching something somewhere doing a workshop like my parents are always on the go. So I have <laughs> big 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 influences from my parents and like how they always go get and move and everything so um with that with seeing that as a kid like I would have my own businesses as a young young kid like I remember my first business I shouldn't even use air quotes because I was getting paid my first business um was a printing company I had like a ton of like the cd-roms where you can like um, like make graphics and stuff. So I would like do invitations, business cards, flyers, and I had a portfolio, everything. And I would take it to school with me. I would take it to church with me. I would take it to meetings, uh, like my like Girl Scout meetings. I would take it everywhere with me. And people started ordering for me. But the funny thing is, because my mom and I had the same name, people would think that I was... <laughs> I was like carrying it around for my mom so they would be ordering and thinking of, and they'll be speaking to an adult when they make the phone call and everything and it's like me answering the phone like a little kid like oh yeah and so one time somebody called the house and my mom answered the phone like oh well we don't have like we're not that's I think you might have the wrong number and I'm like mom get past me the phone like that's for me that's one of my clients <laughs> And so after that, like, mom was like, oh, okay. So she's really, like, doing I got a big order. Um, one of my friends from school, her dad had a cab service, and he wanted some flyers and business cards. And I, like, I think it was, like, maybe a $75 order. Like, and for me, I was, like, 10 or something. So, like, $75 order, I was, like, cha-ching. So I've always been, like, an entrepreneur at heart. In high school, I was... Uh, like I said, I went to a performing arts high school, so I was a part of uh, the dance. I was a dance major, and I was also a part of the touring company, which we toured all over Illinois. We competed. We've won so many awards. Like to this day, I think they they've been traveling to like Spain and like all these different places performing. Um, we got to audition in front of some big people. I've gotten scholarships. Um, we got to take master classes from some of the most greatest dance companies and dance uh, instructors and teachers like all over the world because my dance teacher was super connected and she was really big on exposing us to like the real of dance. It wasn't just anything cute. Like we left in tears sometimes. We left hating everybody <laughs> sometimes. And but it was the experiences were amazing. Like we got to do so many amazing things like charity events, traveling and performing. Like it was just like an amazing time. And I thought that I would continue um, on that level, but I didn't. And it kind of makes me sad sometimes because I was really good. <laughs> um, but I, I that's one of my things that is on my forever vision board. My forever goal list is to start back performing which I need to start back taking classes first because dance is still my love like clearly but um that's neither here nor there just sharing but I definitely will be getting back to the stage because I definitely miss it um and going into college I was a part of picture perfect modeling troupe which was such a dope dope experience I learned how to work do a budget for an event 
um, schedule lighting and talent and host auditions and marketing, social media. Like that's really where I got like my like step my game up with like social media marketing and ticket sales and holding meetings, being like govern governing an organization, being a leader. Like I learned a lot off on and off the stage. Uh, of course it was like amazing to like perform and we traveled, we did a lot of stuff. We we hosted retreats. It was just like a bomb dope time. Um and shout out to Picture Perfect because that experience on my resume got me a lot of jobs. I won't I won't even stunt like it was a college organization, but we did so much, especially like the executive team. We did so much like it looks so good on my resume. So it, it honestly got me a lot of jobs. So from uh, after graduating from college, well, for the time I was in college and uh, like maybe the first two years after college, I was styling, I worked in event planning, um, I worked in bridal, I worked in visual merchandising, which is the bulk of my career is in visual merchandising for those who know um, I started, I started with, uh, Abercrombie, which I don't think a lot of people know. I started with Abercrombie, um, moved on to Forever 21 and, uh, Macy's. So those were like the, where I spent the majority of my time in visual merchandising. And if you don't know what that is, check out my article. I'm going to link it in the description box below, um, where I talk about the struggle of visual merchandising and, uh, what it actually is and I might do a video on that uh, like a separate video on that on this channel, but um, The bulk of my career was in visual merchandising, but I've worked in so many Different fields like at one point in time. I had four jobs at once <laughs> Like your girl was busy and I was young and I was still going out. I was still going out like that's crazy Now you can't catch me like I work two jobs right now and you couldn't catch me going and hanging out in somebody's club or going down somebody's party street like i used to stay on hubbard street after work i used to stay in boys town or wrigley after work or division after work not now <laughs> like not now at all like take me home please um but i was just saying all of that to say like i've worked so many different types of jobs i forgot to mention um a super dope opportunity that i got to uh take was to study abroad i actually got to go to um both london and paris uh in high school and was it high school or was it college <laughs> i don't know i believe it was high school um yeah it was high school i got to go and study abroad in um the University of London School of Fashion and I took a fashion drawing course I still can't draw um, but I can communicate what it is that I'm trying to get across and that was the point of me taking the course but it was it was way more than the course like my classmates didn't speak English my instructor barely spoke any English and it was like a great opportunity to like communicate and connect with people that you have like different cultural backgrounds um di spoke different languages with but y'all had to come to like a common ground like we had to work together we had to understand each other so it was like super cool by the end of it we all kind of knew how to communicate with each other and it was no we wasn't google translating like it was nothing nothing like that but we were like um making movements with our hands pointing at things um i even learned some Portuguese because a lot of my classmates were Portuguese um, from Port Portugal um, and they even learned some English so we were kind of like bouncing everything off of each other but it was a great experience and like to be immersed in like uh, the different cultures the different food and see like the different influences that were in London that were in France and get to tour that as as young as uh, high school was like super amazing because there wasn't a lot of people um in my friend group that were traveling uh or studying abroad so that was like super cool uh that was a super cool opportunity so i thought it would be cool to uh share like 10 quick fun facts about me um some may know some may not know 
but I thought it would be cool to like share uh, outside of like my upbringing and all of that. Fact number one, I am rarely ever bored. Um, you will not catch me saying I'm bored. If I feel bored, it's usually around people, like at a place that I don't want to be and I was over promised and underserved. So that's the only time I probably would be like, okay, this is boring. Like, I want to go home. <laughs> like, I'm, I entertain myself. I love myself. And not even like in a cocky or vain way. I am my best friend. Like, I can, I talk to myself. I read. I write. I, my mind is crazy. I, I think so many thoughts. And don't try to commit me or anything. But I have a lot of thoughts in my head. So I don't even have time to even be bored. Like, my mind is running a mile a minute, so it's always something that can be done. I rarely, rarely ever will say it that I'm I wanted to be at one time everything on this planet that you could, could be, from an archaeologist to an actress to a singer. And who's to say? All of that stuff might happen, so I'm not even going to put it past me. But um, from childhood all the way to now, I've had so many different thoughts of like, my career path clearly <laughs> clearly but i'm the type of person who thinks that you can do anything you want to do and i believe that so who knows i might be an archaeologist one day who knows you know i'm not gonna put it past i might be in a movie one day who knows I'm not gonna put it past me you don't know i don't know what god has for me so that would be dope though <laughs> so i receive it <laughs> i come from a family of creatives Pretty much everybody in my family is a creative. And I know like a lot of like black families can probably attest to that uh, because shoot, black people are some the, some of the most creative people here on this earth. Um, but like I said, my, my dad, he used to like take stuff apart, put it back together, make it like gorgeous. He would get fabrics and all kind of like skins and don't 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 at me Peter but he would get like all kinds of like different animal skins and all kinds of stuff and reupholster furniture my dad and my mom they both can dress their butts off like they're both like super creative with like thrifting and putting together looks um drawing art storytelling all of that my sister she is the black Martha Stewart. Like, <laughs> my sister can do anything. Like, she will see something and then she'll go home and do it. Like, no instructions, no Google, no none of that. She'll go home and do that. Do it. Like, she sees anything. She, she'll make a scrub. She'll make a cake. She'll uh, turn her backyard into a movie theater. Like, she, my sister, can do everything. So, I've come from a family of creative people. Uh, another fun fact about me is... Um, I'm better at giving compliments than I am receiving them. I love to tell somebody that they're looking good, gas them up, see the smile on their face, see their attitude change. Um, but sometimes it's hard for me to receive compliments and I don't know why <laughs> that is. I guess it's just like a human thing. But I'm working on that. I'm, I'm working and learning to receive compliments more often and just say thank you instead of saying, oh, well, I didn't spend a lot on it or this whole thing or, you know, the whole thing but i'm working on the fifth fact about me is i literally mentally digest everything as either a song lyric a movie quote or a meme like i don't care if the situation is serious like i'm i will find a movie quote a song lyric or a meme that relates to whatever it is that you just said and even though i might not laugh in your face i'm probably thinking about a meme that relates to what it is you're saying or of one of my favorite movie quotes and I don't know why like <laughs> I don't know why it is it's like for everything it, it just that's how my brain processes stuff and it is what it is sometimes I'll be like Leilani like grow up but it's the truth <laughs> the sixth fact about me is I find inspiration in literally everything it could be a conversation I'm having with someone it could be something I saw while I was driving it could be um something I remember, like something that just came to mind. I, I always take that as like a download from God because you can see a million things in a day, but for it to stick out to you and for it to like call you in and, and be directed towards something that you can actually write down as an idea or an inspiration, 
um, I feel like that's like a God given gift because not everybody can process stuff like that. So I really take that and hold that truly, truly, truly close to my heart um, because I love that about me. I think that's one of the, my best qualities about myself um, is how I perceive and like receive things um, because it's inspiration in everything. You just have to open your eyes and open your ears. So the seventh fact about me is if you think it's ugly, I probably love it. I probably think it's cute. Like all the stuff that people was like, I would never shop there. I'll probably be in there shopping. If people is like, that's ugly. I would never wear that. That's tacky. That's this, that's that. You could probably catch a girl wearing it. And the funny thing about it is y'all will give me a compliment about it. I don't know if your people are lying or what, but I swear to you, I don't even mean to swear, but like, People people compliment me about stuff that they low key be talking about, and it just be it's funny to me to see. But like, I love taking like uh, tchotchke pieces, um, not like trendy, not on trend pieces, and like what is the the is dust over lint balls anyway. Um, I like taking pieces like that and like. Making them look good, like making them tailor tailoring them to my style and my aesthetic. Like I love that. Another thing you probably have already picked up on is I am a huge planner and huge researcher. If it's something that I I'm interested in, passionate about, I will plan it out to the T. Um, for the past year. Uh, probably longer than a year but for the past year seriously I have been um, creating full out in-depth robust itineraries for travel like I really truly enjoy it down to um, the amount of time it takes you to walk from the hotel to whatever the the tourist destination is um, and planning out the trip so you get the most of your trip like I freaking love it. It takes so much time. It's so super time consuming, but I enjoy every minute minute of it. I love looking at menus, restaurant menus, and planning a night uh, for someone to enjoy. Like I love all of that kind of stuff. So planning and researching, looking at cities and finding out like their hidden gems, the culture of the city, the history of the city, how to navigate it the best way, how to get the most bang for your buck. Like that's my judge <laughs> that is my judge so that kind of stuff i love it i love it I love so it. the ninth fun fact about me is i have i have major major anxiety around time oh my gosh my friends can tell you i hate being late i cannot be late it it internally boils my skin <laughs> boils my blood and like makes my skin crawl i hate being late i don't know I feel like I do know <laughs> where that came from, like being late one time and like it was so detrimental to my life and like I got chewed out. So I think after that, and I'm not, I don't even think before that I was a late person, but I just, I thought I had a window of time to, to make it and I didn't. So after that, I'm like always on time, not even on time, I'm always early. I'll sit in the car and flip through Instagram or listen to the not listen to Spotify or something and go in like I I'd, I'd rather be there and not just think okay well yeah this is 10 minutes away so I'm gonna leave 15 minutes before now because I need to take in account traffic um, an accident like I, I literally like s cannot stand being late so I like plan 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 to be on time to be early so that I can walk in whenever the thing starts. The last and final fun fact about me is, oh my gosh, y'all, this sweater is so linty. <sighs> so the last and final fun fact about me is I hold my relationships to a very, very high standard. Um, and that's not just romantic relationships, but all relationships like my family and my friends. Like if I truly call you a friend, I mean that like, I mean that to the core because not a lot of people make it like especially like at the age that I am now like there's so many growing um, like 
milestone milestones of growing and like changes that you make it's rare that you can grow with someone so i i really do value all the friendships that i have and like have maintained since childhood from uh, high school to college to now like that's hard y'all and it, it it's rare to to find somebody that you can build a lasting friendship with so I really hold my friendships to a high regard. Like you, you probably will get tired of me talking about my friends uh, because I love my friends. I love all y'all. So um, yeah, that's a that's another fun fact about me. So yeah, guys, that's the lay of let lay me lay. I hope I gave y'all um, a good amount of information. I know that I can't tell you my whole life story. I don't even know where to begin with that, but. Um, if y'all want to ask me anything, definitely comment, ask me, DM me, leave it in the comments below. I will try to answer your question, whatever you want to know about me. Um, but I just thought it was it would be cool to share with you like a little bit more about me since my brand is kind of um, my lifestyle. So that's me, <laughs> creative, kooky, all of those things. And I just want to also share like a little bit of my background so i hope i wasn't too chatty but i hope that you got to learn something that you didn't know about me from watching this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up subscribe um hit the notification bell so that you will be notified when i post another video because the next video is going to be about the background of let lay be lay and what what is let lay be lay so i hope that y'all stay tuned for the next video um, for the rest of this month, in addition to my vlogs, my vlogs are not going to stop, but in addition to my vlogs, I'm going to be sharing a little more about like the brand and its inspiration and stuff about me. So stay tuned. I really had fun, uh, talking and sharing with y'all. So until next time.